Denzel comes in like with some wardrobe thing and starts apologizing to us for taking our time. We're all like, yo, man, see, you're, you're Denzel. You just, Denzel. Go ahead, D. It's all good. We, yeah. we forgive you. We forgive you, Denzel. You, oh, I right. love that You're story. the best. Thank you so much for stopping out. by. Oh, good, right? We'll see you inside. We're going to see those dance we'll moves. Keep the demons away. Yeah. yeah we're not the demon it. on the dance floor. The demon on the dance floor. I like that. That's an amazing you're story. Possessed. I know. Yeah. He's all possessed. <laughs> All right, all right. We have I need a demon on the dance floor. You know what I love about this, though? It's like you forget. They're all big stars now, but they all started somewhere. And to know I that know. You're, you're a college kid. I and know. Denzel walks in Didn't the room. Didn't even have a line. Have a line. And look at him now. And mm -hmm. look at him now. <laughs> Smelling all good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm determined to get this dance right, though. That the floss, floss has been the eluding me the entire time. The floss is a few years old. I know, and I've, I still haven't I still figured have it out. There's something like really... <laughs> Yeah, something I don't really understand. Anyway, can we talk about television, by the way? Because I just saw someone go by, and I'm hoping she comes back. Mm -hmm. Retta. Oh, yeah. Love her and Good Girls. Mm -hmm. And we talked about it's coming back. You saw that on Instagram, yep. right? The next season's coming up, which is really exciting. There's a lot of great TV this year. Do you have a favorite show? Let's see. I, I love Mrs. Maisel. Mm -hmm. I love Fleabag. Phoebe Waller-Bridge is my patron saint. I mean, so much great television. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Hello, Andrea. Hello to you. Stunning. Thank you so much. All white, all white, all white. Yeah. Yes, all white, yeah, all white. Amazing. These are my New Year's nails, so I was like, might as well, you know. Can you see them? Yeah. Wait, you held up that long? I don't know how. Um, you clean them. Don't use hand sanitizer because that's what makes them go yellow is what I found out. Fun oh, tips wow. on the red carpet. Yeah, that's pretty impressive that they stay that long. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> what and are you? Real. Nice. What are you looking forward to tonight? Are you going to be dancing it up on the dance floor? I haven't been out in a while. I'm looking forward to running into people. Like, I just fangirled right now. I was like, I can't wait for Grey's Anatomy Station 19 to come back. And, like, I do that every party, and I used to be so embarrassed about it. And now I'm, I own it. I'm like, I'm a fan. I love you. Yes, we call each other by name. But, like, <laughs> your show might be my ringtone. It's fine. We're friends. So I'm excited to just meet everyone. I wait, who did you fangirl over just now? Jason right now. Oh, yeah. Jason George. Which yeah. I, I've, I've known him for a while now, but, like, the first time I met him, it was a problem. Really? How was, did you react? I couldn't talk. I've been watching Grey's Anatomy since I was 14, so like I just can't talk. So. He was just telling a, stor a story about the time he got his SAG card. It was a role college student, didn't have any lines, uh, the demon, he was possessed by a demon. Do you remember the project that got you your SAG card? Yes, it was Bring It On, All or Nothing. My Shibuya got me my SAG card, yes. I was 17 years old, and it was probably the second time I've ever been on set. Like, God is good, I booked a movie, probably about um, nine months after I started auditioning and stuff, and it was that one, and I remember being 17, I got this really nice paycheck, and I was like, woo, and then I learned about taxes, so that sucks. <laughs> and I also had a Coogan account, so then I was like, where did it all go? Yeah, but then I got my SAG card, and it was like really big deal, because I didn't have to um, do uh, get three Taff Hartleys. That was like my automatic end, so it was really cool stuff. Wow, Amazing. that's a great start. Yeah. And you got to um, uh, bring it on, Gabrielle Union and the whole gang. That must oh, have been that was with Solange Knowles. Oh. Rihanna was in it. Oh. Swear to God. It's like so crazy to think about it. Yeah, I know. And then there were a couple times where like every member of Destiny's Child came to set. And a 17-year-old girl who like was a senior in high school, I'm like, what is my life? It's crazy. Do you have a favorite interaction with Rihanna? Um, I Okay, I went up to her and I was like, you're 17, I'm 17, we should be friends. <laughs> what did she say? She's like, yeah, I'm 17. And then that, that's what happened. And then her reps were like, she has to go. I'm like, but, okay. We're friends. <laughs> but I went to her, I think it was her 23rd birthday. I was invited randomly. Um, she didn't know I was going to be there. She's like saying hi to everyone. And then she looked at me and she goes, oh my gosh. And I was like, oh my gosh, you remember me? That's why you're that's a real awesome. one. She's a real one. Yeah. And don't we love Fenty Beauty? Uh, um, yeah, I wear it on my every day. It is the actual best. Like people are like, I can't believe you do your make makeup so well. I'm like, no, it's Fenty. Like, it's love so it. good. Well, you look wonderful. Thank, Thank you so much for stopping. Congratulations. Have a good, good night. Great. Watch mm -hmm. Grownish on Thursdays. It's back on season three. We got picked up for season four. Let's go. Shout out to Yara, too. Yeah, Thank you so much. Tell Shiara. Right. Yeah. Take care. Thank Have fun so inside. Hello. I love Hi, that. Hi, Jane. Nice Jane Seymour. Hi. You are so amazing in the Kaminsky Method. Thank you. I love the relationship you have with Alan Arkin. Do you have a favorite memory on set with him? Um, yes, him getting on the horse. That was really... <laughs> and they were all terrified because they weren't allowed to have him on a horse. And he decided he was going to get on that horse. So we were all going, stop, Alan, stop. You know? I grew up riding horses. So I know that horses, <laughs> if they sense that you're uneasy, yeah, they won't behave. Did they? How did he do? 
Uh, he did very well. I mean, we, we didn't let him go anywhere on the horse. And, and they kept asking me, do you know how to ride a horse? And I went, I would think so after seven years of Dr. Quinn. Yes, I, I can ride a horse. But uh, that was fun. And, and also, you know, we had all that, that kind of the love scene together. And he was so cute because on the day we did the read through and he read this, he said, um, do you think you could possibly have brunch with me and my wife? I said, why? He said, I, I think she should meet you. <laughs> first, Aww. you know, before yeah. they do the love scene. So he was so cute. You know, we always hear that love scenes are really awkward. Yeah. Is that true? Are they as awkward as people say they are? Oh, well, I mean, it was supposed to be awkward. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's 85, yeah. and I was playing somewhere mid-70s, you know. Mm -hmm. I was aging up in my gray wig. But, no, they're, they're always a bit awkward. Yeah. There's always someone, like, standing there, you know, with the camera, and, <laughs> and you know, and, and do it this way and that way. There's nothing natural about it now. <laughs> now, are there things that you do to kind of lighten the mood or joke around? Oh, a lot of joking around, yes, yes. I remember one time I did a movie that my now ex-husband, James Keach, was directing, and um, Barry Bostrick, I think it was, and we were in bed, and, uh, and you know, you sort of take your clothes off and then you kind of have the sheets there and we're about to do the scene and all of a sudden he took his underwear off and threw it right at the director, at James. <laughs> and the whole crew's going. <laughs> what? Like, this is not good. Oh Actually, God. of course, he was wearing something else underneath. Oh. But, it, you know, he didn't know, the crew didn't know, there was this sort of tense Surprise! silence. And then he said, action. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You have some amazing stories. Yes. Thank you for stopping by and congrats. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you inside. <laughs> I can't I imagine don't know what doing I would do. a love scene. Like I would freak out. I would never. I'm I, not, I mean, I'm All not. Right. Hello. So do you. This bow is fat. Yeah. This is amazing. I've been checking out your Instagram and you have so many good looks. Thank you so much. What's the process for picking out what you want to wear for these events? Um, I have an amazing stylist. I for sure cannot take any credit. Um, we kind of just work together, and she kind of just knows me and like my style, and she really just takes it to the max. And I'm really excited to show my events. Oh, sorry, show my clothes at events. <laughs> okay, so your eyeshadow matches your bow. Yeah. You've won the beauty award <laughs> Thank for tonight. You. Just won. <laughs> Killed it. Thank Nailed you. it. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is us. Just came back. So people are stoked. What has the fan reaction been? It's been amazing. People are really um, happy to see a new character. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Everyone's reactions are always great. Everyone's so positive. So I'm really happy. Everyone's so positive, but that show also makes everyone cry. Yes, it's depressing. Uh, do, <laughs> how do you handle that? And the, do you get waterworks as well? I can't watch it without a box yeah. of tissues right next to me. <laughs> Yeah, I really, I do get water wrecked. I think everyone does. I think it's just one of those shows that lots of people can relate to. So yeah. it definitely just gets your emotions going. But at the end of the day, I feel like it's like a lesson for like each sad scene, if that, for lack of words. But yeah, I, I really like it. I feel like, feel like everyone learns something. And like, I feel like that's why it's just so sad because it's real and yeah. it's true. Yeah. We just had some kids from Big Little Lies. They said that there's a text chain. So it makes me wonder, is there a text chain for the This Is Us kids? So they're kind of used to be, kind of. Yeah. Me, Asante, and Lyric kind of had like a group chat, but that kind of ended in like 2019. So like right now, it's just kind of like me and Lyric right now. Okay. Asante kind of ditched us, but it's okay. Asante ditched you guys? No, ditched us. But you know, we don't need to talk about that. We don't. <laughs> Let's move right if along. If he's saying this video, you know, whatever. I think he's going to be Asante here tonight, so we're going to have to famous. tell him that is not okay. <laughs> tell him. Tell, put him on the spot. Him you tell him in the camera. Asante, if you're watching this, like, Why'd you ditch us? But I don't care. We're good without you. I'm a swag. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> He's probably going to FaceTime me. Like, what the heck? <laughs> like, why'd you put me on blast? But, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to let you get inside. If Thank we see us on to you, you go hide in the corner. Okay. No, we have your back. We're going to okay. say something to him. Thank you. Back. Take nice care. Nice to meet you. Bye. Too. So adorable. That Hello. pink bow. Hello. Hi. Oh, Hello. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Hello. Hi. Okay. Now, you, we cut up on the dance floor last time I saw you two. We shut it down. Are we going to do that again tonight? Because I'm ready. That's why we're here. I'm going to take my Spanx off and just like join you on the dance floor. Yeah, I'll take mine off too. Who won the dance off last year? Uh, oh, always, always. My shoes were off. That's all. I have video. What is? You tried hard, but I'm she try. crushed us. What's the go-to? Uh, what is a go-to? No, your go-to dance move. Um, she's like like a shopping cart kind of gal, you oh, yeah, know. Yeah, and then yeah. she like pulls them up. He just grinds hard. He's yeah, just I all up I took there. a twerk class once, yeah. and so that's that's kind of my go-to in there. Show us, please. You can yeah. twerk. I mean, 
Oh, oh. I can oh. try. Yeah, <laughs> that was great. I told that you. That was really You thought great. I was making it up. <laughs> this is what this party turns into <laughs> at night. Twerking I don't think I've ever had someone twerk on screen. I love it. Well, I'm no, glad I can do it go. first. Yeah, it's 2020. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stick with them all night long. Yeah, we want to see up. you in there. We're going to practice. Okay, practice. good. Like, Back. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll cheer you on. Yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about SAG Awards weekends besides the dancing? I mean, uh, definitely seeing everybody out and like all dressed up, and it's it's fun to connect with all the actors in LA. We don't get that many opportunities to all be in the same room together, so that's a lot of fun. Um, I get to talk to people that I watch on TV. You know, they get to do the same thing. It's it's nice. Yeah. We've had Who a few people. Yeah, we've had a few people talk about fanning out when they've seen somebody. I'm sure you're about to ask Just that. Just about yes, to okay, ask that. Go for it. <laughs> no, you you got it, Lola. Who <laughs> have you fanned out over, guys? Ooh, that's actually a good question. I mean, I feel like I fan out all the time. I'm actually pretty bad with names. Okay. When it, I, I, I'm like so subdued by watching the people that like I forget what their actual names are. But uh, I, I know them as their character. You know? Oh yeah, I'm yeah. a big This Is Us fan, and oh, so yeah. anytime I see the kids, I don't know their names, but I, I feel like I have this emotional connection with them that is non-existent. Yes. And so I watch them, and I'm like, I know your fake life, and, <laughs> and I feel it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> What's the strangest thing a fan has ever said to you or come up and done to you? Oh, um, I, ooh. I mean, I was at the doctor's once, and <laughs> the doctor realized who I was in the middle of giving me, uh, like, a test. Okay. Uh, and that was kind of an awkward situation to be in. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm never like, getting another doctor because this cannot happen ever again. <laughs> On that note, we're going to yep. let you go inside. <laughs> You save us a twerk, okay? Yes. I'm coming for you guys. I'm going to do my stretches You'll out here. You'll have to teach us how it's to twerk on. in there. <laughs> All right. No. I'll see you inside. Bye. All right. Wow. Ooh, Hello. Yes. You look amazing. Okay, so turquoise is the color of the evening. Yeah. How are you doing tonight? I'm amazing because it is not as cold as it has been in L.A., so I'm very happy right now. And I have my mom with me. She's... Oh, Hi, Back Mom. There. <laughs> Gorgeous. I know, yes. right? Yes, Mom. She's such a diva in the That's best way. Fantastic. Um, so talk to us about what it's like for you to be here this evening. This is one of the biggest parties of the year. SAG Awards weekend is always so much fun. What's, give us a sense of the energy and how you're feeling. Well, this is my first time at this event because it's my first time going to the SAG Awards this year. Wow. I'm also a SAG ambassador. So right. Joey King and myself are the SAG ambassadors, which is super cool. So yesterday we did the red carpet rollout, well, silver carpet rollout. Oh, it's silver? It is silver this Thank year. Thank you for that and, tip. Um, we uh, did it with the Subaru dogs. I don't know if you've seen the Subaru commercials with those cute dogs where they're driving their families. Um, yeah, they're they're all over the carpet, and um, they helped us roll it out, so it was great. And your show's coming back for a fourth season, Dear White People. Incredible. Congratulations. I'm sure it's a little bittersweet, though, the final season. Yeah, it is. I'm really grateful that we've had three seasons, yes. you know, of a show, of a multifaceted, multicultural show that says something that's meaningful um, and so to get a fourth season right. to be able to really round out these storylines and to, to know that it's the final season means that our whole cast and writers everyone can really put our hearts into it and say that final goodbye that feels like senior year you know you know when people know that the end is near sometimes they tend to take a little something from set maybe an <laughs> outfit maybe a little piece of furniture you know, any some plans clothes. some clothes <laughs> Any plans to heist a little something? Oh, I have been in this business for 15 years. I know what assets are, and I know how to get them. Okay. So. <laughs> My kind of girl. I like that. Well, thank you so much for being yeah, here. Go you. inside and have a good time. Thank you so much. And if much. you see anything that you can get for us, let me know. I'll, I'll be looking out. <laughs> looking Congratulations. Out. Thanks so much. <laughs> yeah, great. Logan Browning. She's oh. a SAG ambassador with Joey King. She's so it's amazing. Yeah. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Hi. Is this a reunion? Oh, uh, no. I don't I'm just think a fan. So I don't think we've ever, ever met in person, but you know we follow. No, I know. Because oh, okay. you follow me on I Twitter. Was just talking about <laughs> I'm a huge fan, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what do you love about her? Tell us. I mean, what is there not to love? I know. She's such an icon. I feel like such a, just an idol, yeah, truly. I, I remember you followed me on Twitter, and then I was like, oh, she's on Glow, and I love her too, so I followed you back, and then an online friendship was born. Oh, Aww. yeah, I'm just a massive fan of the show and everyone on it, and you have, you know, you've been so successful, and well, you were you. Like, yeah, so kind and smart, and poised and yeah well, i'm a fan of you congratulations on glow I love, i'm just here watching what this i love this 
I'm, like, I'm like, I could talk about Survivor, but what? <laughs> what is? I didn't know you were right here. I was just saying, yeah. So what else do you love show? about her? Tell us. <laughs> no, let's talk about your show. What's been the coolest move that you've gotten to do on the show? Oh, uh, gosh, maybe a suplex or or um, the up and over. I really like you. Like jump up on the top um, rope and then somebody runs under you and you jump backwards over them. Okay, I'm looking at your arms. I don't see any <laughs> bruises today. Well, we haven't been in training oh, yeah. in a year. Okay. We're going back. You're so. going back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so are, is that what happens? I'd come, I'd come limping on <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah. Is that fun, though? We've talked to some of the glow girls. Just being able to push yourself in that way physically, I heard. It's just such a thrill. It's demanding on the body, yes. but it is thrilling to know that your body can do that. When I got the role, I didn't want to wrestle. I was horrified and scared and never thought I'd be capable of doing that. But it's the most empowering thing I've ever done it's like stage combat you're flipping yourself over I mean it's things I never thought I was I was an actor not an athlete so it was re- it's been the most empowering experience truly ever have Do there you been audience? any accidents yeah. uh, not uh, minor. minor I mean minor yeah at one point Betty I think um, Betty Gilpin, Betty Gilpin yes. the, one of the stars of the show uh, Liberty Bell she ran into Chavo Guerrero Jr. who's our trainer when oh. he was doing an up and over oh. so she got a concussion oh I think that was before the SAG Awards last year maybe oh, no. <laughs> okay. but apart from that nobody's in a wheelchair no no broken bones okay. so all right <laughs> you're you, horrified uh, no no I just want you it's to stay safe I, I just know. want you to stay no, safe no they, they, they keep <laughs> They, they take care of us. They take care yeah. of you. All right. Well, anything else you'd like to say to her before we let so you go inside? I have so many questions. <laughs> inside tips You I get need. to ask her one. Would you ever do <laughs> idols, or are they actually hidden? Um, <laughs> no, they're actually hidden. <laughs> would you ever do Survivor? I would love to. I just think I would be so horrible because I'm, I get hangry. I get way too, not eating, yeah, it would make okay. me super angry. And then you'd you put somebody in a suplex if they didn't <laughs> yeah. give you any food. Right, so I'd be voted off. That's um, <laughs> Britt, thank you so much thank for stopping by. Oh, Congratulations on everything. Thank, thank you. I love that she loved you so much. <laughs> that was fantastic. Carolyn, hello. <laughs> Carolyn, Aaron, you are incredible and marvelous. Yeah. Mrs. Maisel, how are you doing thank tonight? You. I'm so happy to be here. I really am. It's a beautiful night and... I'm happy to be a Maisel on the carpet. Okay, right. so right. I am all caught up. Oh, you are? This, yes, it's okay. my one of my favorite shows. Really? Oh, and I binged it in two days. I know. Families go through a lot of changes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, no spoiler alerts, but the families get a little closer than people would like. Yes, I think so. <laughs> you know, before season three dropped, we weren't allowed, you know, we had talking points about right. what you could say. You couldn't say anything. I went, why are we even talking to people? We can't say <laughs> anything. But now that the season's dropped, it's sort of not a secret and I mean we, we don't know until we actually film it like I have no idea where the story's going either right. so as, I'm as much a part of the audience as I am in it which is kind of fun people are always thinking that you and Kevin Pollack are actually yeah. together in the pe- which is one of the great compliments but here's what's really funny Kevin and I are both married to people named Jamie Really? so we whenever we do things like this we go where are the Jamie's <laughs> When we're doing stuff and stuff. Do yeah. you ever go on double dates in real life, you and your cast well, co- members? Well, the cast hangs out a lot socially, mm-hmm. but we're all spread out. Okay. So half of us are in California, okay. half of us are in New York, and Alex is in Barcelona. Oh. So every time we come together, it's a reunion. Yes. Which is kind of fun. I love that. I heard this crazy story that Rachel Brosnahan was injured because of her corset and like her ribs fused together. Do you like, know anything about that? It's the most insane but hilarious <laughs> thing I ever heard. And it would much more likely happen to me in terms of getting into these dresses because yeah. I'm just telling things. Well, the fashion mm. is fantastic. This jacket is oh, extraordinary. It's wonderful. It's Let me just, and the fashion on the show yes. is. And Rachel does have that tiny of a waist. That really? was not, you know, architecture. Oh, That's I was hoping that was CGI. She's so I damn know, lucky. I know, I know. <laughs> it's like she was designed for the era. All right. Well, well we're going to let you get inside and party. So Please much. save and us a dance. You, I will save you a dance, right. and thank you, ladies. Thank Congratulations. You. Inside. You'll see me tomorrow, yes. Exactly. Absolutely. Yes. Stop by us. Please come <laughs> see us. All right. It's a date. She's so great. She's fantastic. That show I is love that show. Amazing. I binged it in two days. I didn't sleep. I literally just, like, got up. Oh, hi. Hello, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Riverdale in the house. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? We 
We are fantastic. Yeah. Feeling good this SAG Awards weekend? How are yeah, you feeling? I'm really, really good. I'm really excited. Yeah. Your show has yes. this huge fan base. Did you ever expect that it'd be so popular? Yeah. No one ever expects that. It was, I mean, the enthusiasm for the show, it was, it just, there's nothing better. There's nothing better. It's and so the, great. And the great thing about the show is yeah. that a number of different generations can enjoy mm -hmm. it. I, I'll have parents like guiltily be like, well, I, I, I got my teenager to watch it. <laughs> like, it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. I love that. have a favorite scene or day of shooting that you had on the show? I do. There was, um, there was a scene that I did with Luke. Because it was Luke. First season, and I had to confess to him that I was behind buying his company the whole time. And it was like a total betrayal. And it was horrible. It was hard to do. But that moment was so real for me and Luke, and we we're both so emotional, and it was just a really, it was a really special thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, the, one of the, uh, it's so unfortunate, his passing, but one of the things, one of the beautiful things is that we all realized just how much he was beloved. And so he that was, was really like, special. I mean, he was so, he was so stable mm -hmm. as, a, as a person to go to for any questions, for any, anything, for just checking in, or I don't know what's going on. Do you know when they're going to start? Just anything. He was so generous and such a kind person. It was, I mean, we're still, I, I still have moments of like, I can't believe he's not going to come around the corner from his trailer. Yeah. It's pretty well, rough. Let's shift gears. Sure. <laughs> other than your performance, yeah. what other performances have knocked your socks off? Because it's a good year for television and it film. It really, really is. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, um, when they see us kind of blew my mind yes. away. Yes. Really good. Really powerful. powerful. Absolutely amazing. Um, uh, you know, one that actually hasn't, it's not really an award season one, but the Aeronauts. Oh! The, their performances mm -hmm. were amazing. Yes. Really. Just yes. Like acting 101 is absolutely incredible. Do you have a guilty pleasure that you like to binge watch or that yeah, you binge watched I and do. recommended to someone? I tell mean, us. It's, tell us. it's probably everyone's guilty pleasure, but I still, I, anytime Grease is playing anywhere, <laughs> I'm the best. Like right yeah. in front, and then, da -da -da, then I put it in the CD, and I look like, yeah, always. We love it. Well, well have, have a good time in there. Are you going to be dancing it up? I will be. All right, I will we'll be. see you All on right, the we'll dance floor. Thank you. All right. Oh. I hear some Maria Maria. Oh, oh there's a party. Maria, Maria. Well, there's a DJ inside. I, I hope that all those people that said they were going to dance are actually going to be dancing Listen, inside. I know that. Hi. Oh, hi. hi. We were having a dance party over here. Come and join yeah. us. Hi. How are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling good. I'm yeah. feeling good. I'm feeling windy. <laughs> it's very windy out here. It's unusually cold yeah, here, huh? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. But it's a hot party in there. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I'm, I'm excited. The carpet looks great. Yes. And um, I'm excited to go inside. It's going to be fun. Thank you so much. Speaking of excitement, yes. what performances have really knocked your socks off this year? What's gotten you really excited? Because there's a lot of great television and film out there. Oh, my God, yeah. Yes. Um, Joaquin. Yes. I mean, <laughs> it's, like, phenomenal. <laughs> it's literally, it's a joke. <laughs> um, yeah. No pun intended. Literally, it's like he, he I mean, his performance and... As an actress, just mm -hmm. watching him perform was just absolutely incredible. And the, I, I'm, I mean, I was speechless. I'm still kind of speechless from that performance. I mean, where the he physical went transformation, was, yeah, I mean, where he went for that journey. role was absolutely incredible. And I bow down to him. So yeah, he's I, really, I really hope he takes the Oscar. <laughs> he's someone that I think a lot of actors look up to and they're inspired by. Like growing up, when you wanted to be an actress, like who was the person you kind of wanted to be? Oh my gosh, uh, Angelina Jolie, yeah. Angelina. You course. look like her a little bit. A little, yeah, maybe like a baby Jolie. Oh well, yeah. let's let's hope I have the same career. <laughs> I'm hoping. Um, yeah, I mean Angelina Jolie, and I mean just watching incredible people like that, like Joaquin and Angelina. It's just like, it's super, super, super like heartwarming, especially what they do just for their like. Their craft. Fit craft. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Like what they're building in their career is just absolutely amazing. And they both have incredible range. The idea that yeah. she can do something super serious, but also do something, something physical light, like yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lara Croft Tomb Raider, yeah, really exactly. physically demanding. It's yeah. great. It's is amazing. that what you aspire to for your career as well, Miss Yeah, Amy, everything. Right? Yeah. yeah, definitely doing everything possible. I mean, that's why I do what I do. I'm right. excited. We're well, gonna have fun. And yeah. Have a good time. Thanks for stopping by. See you inside. Yeah, it's a two for one deal. It's so nice. How's your? It looks gorgeous. Thank How's you. How's your so night going? Uh, so fun. Just got here. 
Yeah. Super, super nice, super exciting. It's going to yeah. be a good time in it's, there. Yeah, I know. We promise. I'm very <laughs> excited. I know. <laughs> like, no, the interview is great, but uh, <laughs> we'll hurry you along. Yeah. Really quickly, top of the year, top of the decade. Any New Year's resolutions that you have? Any that you've kept? Any that you've broken? Oh, Tell I us. think I've broken all of the <laughs> all of the diet and drinking ones already. Um, no, you know what? I just like this year. I, this year's about fun, so I'm trying to just not take myself t or anything too seriously. Yes. Yeah, that's I hear like you. the next fun thing that you have planned that you can't wait to do. My one of my best friends' birthday parties is right after this, oh, so I'm nice. going. Yes. Can yes. we come? Yeah, you guys want to come along? No, let's go. Can we? Yeah. Plus. Have two. a car ready for you. Uh, it'll be right there. It's downtown. We're dressed appropriately. Yes. It's great. Yes. That is the next fun thing I'm doing. Oh, no. something, do you go really big for birthday parties? Is that a thing? Do I what? Do you go really big for birthday parties? You know, it's it's my friend's 40th, and so for this, it's like, yes. Like, we, we have to make this a night he will remember. So, yeah. We, or we, not we, remember. Or, like, that's the point. <laughs> right. Yes. We'll remember <laughs> it. Will yes. But, no, I have uh, also, uh, I have a new show coming out, actually, on a Thursday night, the 23rd, on well, Fox called Outmatched. It. Yeah. Me and Jason Biggs. And this woman right here, who I'm actually going to gra grab in play, a second. You play Jason Biggs' character's Mrs., correct? Um, yes. yes. So there's my husband and wife. We have uh, four kids. Three of those kids are uh, off the charts geniuses. We are not geniuses. <laughs> we have no idea how we birthed three geniuses. Uh, and then we have one kid who's, um, you know, normal. Yeah. So Jason a, Biggs' real wife posted about you on I, her Instagram. She does. We do. We like mess with each other all the time. It's so fun. It's uh, you know. It's Jenny. Is her it's name? Jenny Mullen. Yeah. Jenny Mullen. So I yeah. actually, um, uh, it was very funny. I read. I had read one of her books, but then Jason told me I had to read the other book before we came back to work here in December because uh, that was my research. So yeah. What She's a great writer. Hysterical. What's something so su funny? What's something surprising about them that people wouldn't know? Oh my gosh! How normal. They are, I think, I mean, I guess they kind of give, like, their whole life is, is or at least Jenny posts a lot on Instagram or whatever, but uh, they're really, really chill, amazing, wonderful people, and I don't know that people totally get that, because they do live their lives in the spotlight a little bit, so, yeah. Well, congrats on the new show. So Can't much. wait to see it, and yeah, have fun so in there. Excited. Thank you all so Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Take care. Well. She's so great. So Jenny and I know each other in New York, and she okay. is laugh out loud funny, great yeah. writer, really honest. She was on the cover of Parents Magazine, which mm -hmm. is a Meredith publication. Yeah. <laughs> Shout Little out. Shameless plug. <laughs> but she keeps it so real about you mm -hmm. know life and marriage and the, and the challenges and the ups and downs and the fun times and all of that. So it's great. I'm sure she picked Jenny's brain to sort oh, of like yeah. get prepared to play. And the play. show sounds really good. It sounds like um, a good time. For anyone time. just joining us, we're here at Chateau Marmont yes, we are. for Entertainment Weekly's pre-SAG Awards party. We're talking to you, all the stars coming down the carpet. Yes. And as you can tell, there's a lot of great energy here. It's a little hectic at times, but we're having fun. We are having a good time. Do you have someone that you really want to meet tonight? Um, or a show, someone that you want to see from a certain show? By uh, Brad Pitt. But <laughs> <laughs> can I be rolling by? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did I mention Brad Pitt? <laughs> okay. All right, Brad Pitt. Wait, is it. there someone that you want to see? Uh, anyone from Schitt's Creek. Yes. Because that is your favorite it's show. It's my favorite One of show. your favorites, yes. Uh, and I can say it because it's S-C-H-I-T-T. -T, so that's <laughs> just, just everyone knows. If you don't know the show, you should watch it. It's fair. And because good. they just... Had Eugene their Levy, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. It was their last season. It was their last season. But it's really funny. It's the only show that really makes me laugh out loud. Yes. I'm not a big laugher when I watch things. You really? But you Chitt's Creek. Now, do you, I feel that way about Fleabag. Okay, Fleabag's another one. The writing is incredible. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, I just, I can't get enough of her. As you know, I'm obsessed with her. Also, anybody from Parasite, favorite film of the year. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait to see anyone from Parasite. I mean, there's just so much great television. Yeah, the Morning Show is fantastic. Steve Carell, Jennifer Aniston, mm -hmm. all of their meltdowns. <laughs> epic. I can't. I mean, I just so much, so much. Yeah, so much, so much. The Handmaid's Tale. Handmaid's Tale. And Handmaid's Tale. Mm -hmm. Really, just a lot of good television. I mean, if Eddie Murphy or Jamie Fox happen to show up, I mean, <laughs> I'd, I'd have to talk to them. Yeah. But I've, all oh. right, looks like we have Joey King. Joey, hi. Hello, Joey. How are you? All I love this right. look. Thank you so much. It's I'm wearing cool. Victor and Rolf. You are wearing it well. Oh, stop it. You are someone who tends to have candy in your pockets, in your clutches. Are you carrying anything tonight? Tonight, it's just my phone and my keys. Okay. It's a little bit boring this <laughs> evening. But I made, before I came here, something I did do that was cool, was I made homemade pumpkin seed butter today. 
Ooh. It took so long. <laughs> really? <laughs> I recommend. It's too long. I almost broke my food processor. Speaking of broke, you almost got your bones broken by one of your co-hosts. I was like, where is this going? Uh, Segway. You say, oh, I got there. <laughs> I was like, what are you about to say? Um, I did. I did. So walk us through that because we saw the injury on Instagram. You were attacked by an award. Tell us what happened. A Golden Globe got me in the head. Um, and it was Patricia Arquette. It was Patricia Arquette's Golden Globe. If there's, I mean, if there's anyone's Golden Globe, I want to knock my head. It's Patricia's. Uh, it was an accident. We, we were in a photo booth, and she like raised it, and I took a bow, and then, and then, ooh, <laughs> and then the rest is history. So it was, yeah. It was. Things great. are heavy. Not made of chocolate. <laughs> no, I thought people would always exaggerate when they would get on stage. They'd be like, "Ooh, this is heavy." I'm like, "Yeah, right." But then I held it, and I was like, "Jesus <laughs> Christ!" You. You did an interview with us, I think for either Globes or Critics' Choice, uh -huh. and you were fangirling over Andrew Scott, the hot priest, yep. but we never got the follow-up if you actually got to meet him or talk no, to him. I never said hi. I'm such a chicken, man. When it comes to like award shows and things like this, I just, I'm such a creep. I watch everybody, and I never say hi to anyone I'm a fan of. I'm just like, no, they'll think I'm annoying, and so I just keep it to myself, always. But you might have a chance to run into him again here. So what would yeah. you say to him? Oh. See, that's the thing. What would I say that no one else has already said? What am I going to be like, I loved you in Fleabag and Sherlock. He's like, thanks. Uh, I, I have no idea. But maybe he's I'm a big saying. fan of the act and it'll be... See, maybe, but maybe not, you know? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? I guess I have to say hi and find out, right? You know, you underwent a huge physical transformation for this role. You had to shave your head. You wore fake teeth. What was that like for you? I mean, I'm sure that's a dream for an actor to be able to really dive into a character like that, but walk me through that. And what did you think of yourself bald with weird teeth? Um, I mean, you said it best. It is a dream for an actor. It was, I feel like to do something as exciting and transformative, shaving my head and kind of stripping myself of my vanity was a really small price to pay. Um, I had a really great time doing it, and I kind of missed the shaved head. It was nice. I didn't have to think about anything. Now I've got all this fake hair in. I, I'm so transparent. Whatever. I've just got a ton of extensions in. Hi, everyone. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank well, you. last thing, you're a SAG ambassador yeah. with Logan Browning. Very exciting. So, so exciting. what does that mean to you? Oh, my gosh. It was so touching when SAG asked me to be an ambassador um, because getting to attend as an ambassador and as a nominee, it just feels so special. Um, the SAG Awards have such a huge place in my heart because I always vote every year and so being part of a committee and a union and knowing that like everyone that does what I do is voting it feels so so great to have my peers you know think I deserve to be there it's really touching okay so we've got a few bets going and since you are a voter tell us <laughs> who's, gonna win? Yeah, who's gonna win oh man I'll make so I'll drop some bets tonight I'll put money on is that bad gambling on the tag <laughs> no not at all I don't think so either. I think Joaquin's going to win. I mean, we all know that. Uh, yeah. That's for sure. Michelle Williams will probably win. Or Patricia Arquette. I'm rooting for Patricia. And Michelle. I love Michelle. I love Patricia, though, you know. Uh, I think it's going to be a very exciting night. Yeah. I get to sit next to my grandma and my mom. It's oh, going to be great. Girls what night are out. you wearing tomorrow? Oh, I am wearing a custom gown. Um, I'm very excited. I just tried it on again tonight, and it fits great. <laughs> so uh, hopefully no misfortunes tomorrow. But I think it'll be great. I'm very excited. Okay. Okay going to knock it out of the park. Yeah, we're excited to okay. see you tomorrow. Oh Thanks guys, for stopping thank by. Thank you. So Have much. Fun. She's fantastic. When she was telling us that her and Patricia Arquette got really close during filming, they remain close to this day. I love that. I love that energy. And she's safe. Yeah. She is safe. She did have a really bad bruise yeah, on know. her head, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. No, 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 no. She'll be fine. Oh um, but this was really fun. The what was your highlight? Over. I know. I've so Learning the floss. Had. From learning the case from Big Little Eyes. But showing those little kids the running man. I had to show those kids how it's done. <laughs> well, thank you, everyone, for watching. And of course, we're going to be at the Shrine Auditorium tomorrow right. for people at EW and TNT's <gasps> Red Carpet Jeremy Live. Parsons also with Jeremy Parsons. Hey. He's also starting at 5 30 p.m. Eastern Can't Time so on People and EW channels. So make sure you check it out. See you then. For now, goodbye. Bye. See you tomorrow.